Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome to my channel. So today, guys, we are at Za Za Zay. Not sure how you pronounce it. It's a new restaurant here in downtown Las Vegas, right across from Container Park. It's supposed to be a Latin fusion restaurant. So I wanted to come check this place out. I've been here before when it was something else. I've been to like the rooftop area. Um, but this place is, I feel like it's changed a few times since I've lived here. Uh, different uh, businesses have used this building. Um, but it's a restaurant down here and then it turns into a nightclub over here on the rooftop. So you got a cute little rooftop nightclub vibe so you can come here, you can eat at the restaurant and then you can party upstairs which is really fun. So I'm going to come and check the food out. guys so i just sat down and ordered i got myself a drink i got the traviso it's supposed to be a spicy drink it has um chili ancho liqueur so anything with spice y'all know me i'm either a rum girl or i'm a tequila girl and the spicier the better and then for food i went ahead and i got the bao me uh, the bon me bao and then i did what else did i do i did the ribs the stuffed pasta and then I also got the mussel so this place kind of does like small plates so it gives you like the opportunity to try a few different things which is nice you know I love like a variety of stuff so I want to try a little bit of everything another thing that I want to mention that's really cool here is that they do complimentary starters so I think every day it changes and they choose a new starter. So when you come in, they just give you this to try out, which is super cool. So today it's the wonton. So they, it comes out on this really cool like wooden thing. And you get to try something off the menu, maybe something that you didn't order already. I think that's such a good idea, giving people like an opportunity to try something else on the menu. So really cool. All right, guys, so this is the Traviso drink. It looks great. I asked her to put tahine on the rim because anything spicy, you already know I need that tahine. I love tahine. So we're going to try this out. Mm, that's the one, y'all. That's the drink. Got a great kick to it. Great amount of spice. The, ha the tahine is giving. We love tahine. Super refreshing. What else is in this drink? It's tequila, hibiscus, rosemary, the chili ancho liquor, and chili chill to pin. Chill to pin? I'm probably not saying that right, but really good drink. Alright guys, so here I have the mussels. It's cooked in a uh, Thai green curry sauce and then they top it with fries. I wasn't expecting that. And then over on this side, I have the stuffed pasta and it has pancetta on top and a mushroom sauce. Let me tell you all, this smells amazing. It smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. So I'm gonna go try the mussel first love mussels Ooh, get some sauce in there right sop it up sop it up guys we love sauce mm. thank you
hot is so good. It's a really subtle tasting curry sauce, but perfect blend with the mussels, you guys. And it's kind of thick too. A lot of times, like when I get mussels, it's in a very like watery sauce. This sauce is like thick. It's like the mussels are coated. See that? How thick that sauce is? Oh yeah. All right guys, so she just brought out the Bon Mi Bao Buns. Look at that. Looks so cute, the little black buns. Mm, it looks so good. But first, I wanna try the stuffed pasta. All right, so let's try the stuffed pasta. I wanna try it by itself. This mushroom sauce is so creamy. Creamy goodness, y'all. The pasta is stuffed to perfection. All right, another bite with the pancetta on top. Mmm! Stop. The pancetta makes it. Because now you've got this creamy, soft pasta. And you've got this crispy, salty pancetta on top. Amazing. Guys, check these buns out. Looking good. All right, let's try this. Ooh, look at that. Meat looks good. In a balmy style. That is such a good combo right there. I'm surprised no one's done this before. A bomb me mixed with a pork bao bun. That is so good. Like you've got the crispness of the carrots in there, the bomb me sauce, and then the nice soft pork, juicy pork right in the middle. Oh gosh, that's good. Mm, 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 mm. All right, you guys, I was not ready for this. I thought this was gonna be like a small plate of ribs. This is freaking huge. Like, I just tore up them bow buns. I got one bun left over there. I had all the mussels. I had a lot of the pasta. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna at least try for you guys, right? All right, so these ribs are coated in a watermelon barbecue sauce watermelon barbecue sauce they got a little cabbage underneath a little corn rib going through all right let's try a little piece over here because these things are big y'all i can't be grabbing on to these like i was doing at um international smoke these you gotta like ease your way into it okay wow this sauce first of all the ribs are fall off the bone super juicy super soft and flavorful but the mvp here goes to the sauce you guys this watermelon barbecue sauce oh my gosh i wasn't ready for that this has to be the most flavor flavorful thing here hands down these ribs are bomb definitely the best thing i've had here oh my god the sauce super sweet it just tastes like a really good sweet barbecue sauce not necessarily like watermelon but like just the perfect sweetness and i love a sweet barbecue sauce so this is hitting all the spots you guys the meat is so soft mm. that's delicious if you get anything that you saw today it's the ribs guys it's the ribs for me now i want to finish these ribs so bad i can't stop eating them they're so freaking good but I want to try dessert really bad here. 
so I'm trying my best to be like, chill out, girl, because we're trying to do dessert. But I'm telling you, I cannot stop eating these ribs. They're so good. All right, guys, I tried to do the dessert. I really did. I really wanted to get that fried milk. It's like ice cream and popcorn and caramel. It just sounded so good. But I kept eating them ribs because they were too good. I just, I couldn't do it. Um, but final thoughts on the spot. I thought it was a really good spot. I think the vibe in there is really cute. I think the menu is really cute. I thought the food was really good. After I had everything, I will say the mussels were not my favorite. Like, you ever have something you're like, ooh, that's good, but then you have like 10 other things that's better and you're like, that wasn't all that. Like, that's how I feel about the mussels. The taste was like super subtle compared to everything else but I loved everything else, especially those ribs, you guys. The ribs were fire. The pasta with the pancetta on top was super good. And then the bao buns were super good too. So I think if you're in the area, this is like a really fun place to stop. <laughs> People out here just having a good time. I'm just trying to film my video real quick. Anyway. Um, so I think if you're in the area, this is like a super cool spot to check out. The food was good, the vibe was good, and then being able to have this rooftop over here and being able to just go up here, have drinks after, listen to music, party a little bit before maybe you hit like some more bars on Fremont Street. I just feel like it's super convenient. And then it's right across from Container Park where they have like the fire show every hour. So you can like sit here and watch the fire show going off. So it's just all around like a good vibe, good location, good food. I say check it out.